Hey guys, it's Van Player Mike from SegaCityUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com and um, <clears throat> this is a quick video response to a YouTube friend of mine. You may have heard me mention him a couple times before. It's Sandem Todd. He had a, uh, a good video uh, this morning that I watched and it was how important is condition within your collection. So, when I was younger, um, I was extremely, extremely anal about the condition of my games. I, I wouldn't, I would flip out if there was like a scratch. Um, you know, have to be immaculate with booklet and box and everything. Um, cartridge games, not so much, but when I got to disc based media, I'd always make sure everything was immaculate. So much so that I had a, uh, I remember having a PlayStation 2 during launch and I had Summoner after a while. I don't even remember that really weird RPG. It wasn't so great. I made two of them. And Summoner started getting these weird, like, almost like hazy rings on the disc. Not scratches, but like almost like a, I don't know how to explain it, like a dust looking buildup. It, it was something to do with the spinning. I think it was like the spinning. I thought that the unit was faulty. So I swapped the game out at, for, you know, at, at the GameStop or EB. I think it was EB at the time. And um, I had eventually swapped the unit out just because I thought the unit was like faulty and doing something to the discs. I think it just ended up being that the, you know, the discs were spinning fast, maybe dust or whatever in the air was kind of getting on them a little bit and it was getting a little bit of a build up or maybe the discs were just looking that way after a while of spinning. But either way, I was extremely, extremely anal about my stuff. Nowadays, I'm not as much. Um, so much so that if I get something that doesn't have a case, it's not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, I prefer wholeheartedly to have a case, to have a manual, to have everything in nice, really you know, mint condition like new. If it, if it looks like that but it has a couple marks on the disc, I don't really mind. As long as the thing doesn't look like it was dragged across cement and there's like light scratches or deep scratches all over it, then I won't bother. But it seems like the older I've gotten, I'm almost 30 and 29, the older I've gotten, the less I care about the condition of, the, of you know, my stuff. I'm not saying... Uh, I want it to be shitty or, or I, you know, will buy it even if it's shitty, but um, I'm definitely a, a little easier on it. I think I've realized there's more important things in life, and if I look at a disc and there's a couple of stray marks on it, a couple of light scratches, but it looks fine, it's going to work fine, and there's no scratches on top of the disc where the data is or anything, I don't really think about it. Um, I know it's a short and sweet answer, but uh, I don't know, maybe I've just become more easygoing as I've gotten a little older, I, I've noticed that. Notice that with many people. So that's my answer. And Sandem Todd, thank you for the question. Great question as always. I love your videos. And um, if you guys haven't checked him out, please do so. I'm going to put his name down in the description. Thanks, guys. Hope all is well. Be good.